Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a double dimensional array program to find the sum of diagonals of a given matrix. So first you are going to see the question. Write a program in Java to store the numbers in 4 cross 4 matrix in a double dimensional array. Find the sum of numbers of the left diagonal and the sum of the numbers of the right diagonal of the matrix. So that's the question. Now you can see a sample input here where you have 4 rows and 4 columns which are 16 numbers, there are 16 elements. Okay, And output should be the sum of left diagonal and then the sum of right diagonal. So you should know which is the left diagonal and right diagonal we will be seeing in the solution uh, slide. So here you can see, so left diagonal is the diagonal which is marked in orange color oval uh, symbol and then right diagonal is marked as the green color oval symbol. You can see this one uh, is the right diagonal. Now you can notice the elements 1, 3, 5, 7 is the elements which is in the left diagonal and you can see all the elements which is uh, 4 in the right diagonal. Now you can see the uh, memory location that is the matrix uh, position values with the subscript values given here. So subscript values that is the row value and column values given above uh, for element 1 that is first element the row value is 0 column value is also 0 for element 3 that is second element that is uh, in the left diagonal uh, it has the row value 1 and the column value also 1 so you can notice one thing in all the elements in the left diagonal it has the same row and column uh, column values the values of row and column are same so once it is same you know that it is the left diagonal so you can just uh, execute a loop and then uh, execute these four elements by adding it into a variable so it is very simple logic when you use uh, use it for left diagonal now in right diagonal you can see in the other point you can see that uh, row values are increasing say first row value is 0 second uh, second value is 1 then 2 and then 3 but the column values are decreasing you can see the maximum value that is 3 and then 2 then 1 and 0 so here row values are increasing and column values are increasing so what you can do is you can use a loop so for example, if it is an i loop, i, I is index uh, variable where it will execute from 0 to 3, you can use it for the row index, that is the row subscript values. Now for column, what you can do is you can create a separate variable and initialize the value as the first value, the first value is 3 and every iteration decrease it by 1. So uh, 3, when you decrease it by 1, it becomes 2, then it becomes 1, then it becomes 0. So you can have separate variable and then you can uh, easily find the right diagonal. So we are going to the program. Okay. In BlueJ, I have created a uh, program to find the sum of the diagonals. I have created an object, scanner object to input the uh, values and store it into the variable. I declared a array variable ARR and it has the maximum numbers are 4 rows and 4 columns. So that is a double dimensional array. We got two uh, pairs of, uh, there is pairs of uh, square brackets available and the row value is 4, maximum values which can be stored in row is 4 and also the maximum value stored uh, which can be stored in column is also 4 and you should have uh, 3 variables, 2 variables it is nothing but the uh, left diagonal and the right diagonal initialize as uh, 0 and we, as we discussed in the logic you should have a separate variable to find the right diagonal and initialize it as 3 ok, now the first step is you are going to get the elements from the user so you are going to execute a nested loop so that uh, since it is a uh, double dimensional array always you have to use a nested loop to find uh, it is accept the values and store it accordingly row wise so in uh, any array you store all the elements will be stored in row wise order because you can see outer loop is i and inner loop is j where you are using row as i and then column as j that means it will, uh, it will execute row wise and it will whatever element you store it will be stored in in the row and then go to the next uh, next uh, row after completing the first row it go to the next row so it goes on uh, executing it 16 times okay after the input you are going to find the uh, that is calculate the sum of diagonals so you should use a loop okay so which executes from 0 to 3 that is 0 to uh, i equal to 0 i lesser than 3 i plus plus so it will start from 0 and end it by 3. Once it reaches 3, it will stop. That means 4 times it will execute the loop. That means you should have 4 elements for left, uh, left diagonal and 4 elements for the right diagonal. As we already discussed, uh, the left diagonal 
both the substitute values row value and uh, column values are same so i am using i value itself so first time i value 0 so both it will be 0 0 second time i value becomes 1 now it becomes 1 1 so error of 0 0 will be the first element error of 1 1 will be the second element then it will be error of 2 2 which will be added into ltd that is the uh, left diagonal variable and it will store it into that variable so that it will uh, finally you will get the sum of left diagonal now if you take the right diagonal you can notice that you are using the uh, row subscript as i that will start from 0 to 3 and uh, as we discussed uh, the second variable that is the column uh, subscript will be from 3 to 0 so uh, since i declared here uh, k as 3 i can use k here so the first time the loop executes i value 0 and k value c uh, 3 so 0 3 that will be the right diagonal first element that is first row last element okay that will be added to right diagonal now i am reducing the k value by 1 so second time k value will be 2 i value will increase and k value will decrease so i value becomes 1 and k value becomes 2 so it will go to the next uh, next uh, value in the element in the right diagonal so after completing this loop you got two variables which are the sum of left diagonal which is stored in ltd and then sum of right diagonal which is stored in rtd and then both you are going to display the sum of left diagonal is being displayed and then sum of right diagonal is being displayed next so you are going to compile this program ok no syntax errors now i am going to execute it so i am going to give some values say 1 space 2 3 4 then i am going to give 2 3 4 5 so I want to show some difference so I am just giving different values you can give any numbers you want now you can see the uh, sum of left diagonal is 16 you can see here it is uh, 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus uh, 7 is 16 and right diagonal all the numbers are 4 that will be also uh, 4 times it will be 16 so this is the output of the left hand uh, sum of left and right diagonal Hope you understood uh, the calculation part and uh, you understood how to solve uh, the values, how to select the diagonal values and find the sum or you can also find display the diagonals if suppose the question says uh, display the diagonal left diagonal and right diagonal the same logic can be used and this logic can be used only for 4 cross 4 matrix if it is n cross n matrix then you should have some uh, slight changes in this okay we will uh, discuss that in the uh, next uh, forthcoming videos till then thank you